Miss Felice, how are you doing? Welcome to Simnaya and thank you all so much for all the love and support. So today we'll be talking something very important and it's about Nikki Haley who actually, the Indian woman, right, who actually lied about black people, slavery and all that. So it happened that her application, like, you know, she actually said that she is a palm colored, that she's a white woman in one of her applications. And when you, when you watch this video, you are going to see that uh, she is an Indian and her parents are Indian, right? And you will see her face, her color, everything will tell you that, uh, oh, she, I mean, while growing up, actually, she really looks so much like us because, like, you know, there are uh, black people come in different shades and all that, you know? So you definitely will understand that, man, this person is a uh, Indian or a person of color and now she is lying and I am asking why is she lying about where she come from because she has already bought into white supremacists and she want to let black people know that she is not on the same level with us you know because that is how I say it because I don't know I don't see a reason why somebody would lie that she is not Indian that but she is a white person when she is looking like I mean she looks like me or sorry maybe someone else that looked like me you know this is really interesting let's get into this video i was out niggered and i'll never be out niggered again nikki haley now i stayed quiet because i already knew i already i could tell from the bone structure alone that, that this was not a caucasian woman but i referred to her as caucasian just to prove a point okay this woman marked white on her y'all think i wouldn't do the research prior to doing the actual video of course i knew that she was of course i knew that she was a brown but you could see in her skin that there is 12 percent melanin in it okay you can visibly see that with your own two eyes that she's a brown woman but i referred to her as white because she lied on her applications i referred to her as white because that's who she thinks she is and even y'all were wrong she may have a little bit of Native American in her blood, but this woman is not Native American. This woman is brown, okay? She is not red. She is brown. I'm talking brown as in from the mountains of Indus, okay? Mountains of Indus, India. She is Indian. Do you understand what I'm saying? From the mountains of Indus, all right? Let's, let's go ahead and break this down because she didn't out... She didn't out Caucasian and out nigga us all, okay? With with this scam. She didn't scam your ass so hard. Do you understand what I'm saying? This woman is giving Rachel Dolezo a run for her money. She is giving the 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 biracial, the trans, I'm sorry, not biracial, transracial women and men a run for their money. Okay? She leading up. We didn't think it would get worse than Rachel Dolezal. But then we got Nikki Haley. The female sitting behind her father in the turban with the blue shirt on, that's Nikki Haley. That's her. In the blue. Now, Nikki Mamas, you didn't mark Caucasian on your voter registration form. This woman probably has less than 10% of caucus in her in her blood, and she marked white on her voter registration form. This entire time she's been going through her campaign, she has identified as a Caucasian woman, okay? Doing the same thing that Americans, uh, uh, black African Americans that are biracial had to do or mulattoes had to do out of fear for their life. She chose to do so that she could get further in her campaign. And she chose to use um, black history as a stepping stool. She chose to step, try and step on black people and black history and slavery as a means to further her campaign. More proof that no matter where they go and what they do, they will always need black people to further themselves and get to where they want to be. Which, by the way, goes against your own principles as a brown person. Because if you didn't know, my love, your own people were enslaved. But that's neither here nor there. Um, the Untouchables, yeah, we learned about the Untouchables. Yeah, we know what your family history comes from. <laughs> yeah, babe, I can't believe that. Well, I can't believe it. Because everybody, everybody wants to be us. They want to hate us so bad. 
that they this woman put on white face just to come for the black community. Yikes. Just to have everybody find out that you yourself ain't nothing but a nigga. <laughs> ain't nothing but a nothing but a common nigga. Yikes. Yikes. You went against your own people. You went against your own Indian heritage and roots. Baby, why don't you stand up loudly and proudly? Whose idea was this? I need to know. I need to know. Because the way this is going to take the news and media by storm that y'all were out Caucasian is crazy. It's wild. Y'all were literally out Caucasian. I can tell by how greasy her hair was and her bone structure alone that that woman was not Native American. Her brother could pass as Native American, but that woman was not Native. I knew from the jump. This woman ain't Native American. She damn sure ain't Caucasian. Why? Because I have Native American blood in my veins and I know what a Native American looks like. Now, while they may look very slim, similar, baby, they are not the same. They're not the same. They're not the same. And I can tell directly just by looking at them that they're not the same. I could tell by looking at her face. She was not Native American. So while a lot of people kept saying, oh, she's Native American, she's Native American, she's not white, she's Native American, you were wrong. She could have a pinch of Native American blood in her system, but this woman is Indian, Southeast Asian. She tried to out Caucasian y'all asses and y'all fell for it. I refer to her as Caucasian because that's exactly what she wrote on her registration form. And I knew she was going to get some way, somehow, somebody was going to dig it up. Somebody was going to find the proof. I may not have had her family photo, but I knew for a fact that this hoe was lying. She been lying from jump. And if she's willing to lie about her race, what else is she lying about? This is the same woman that tried to say that slavery had nothing to do with the Civil War. This is the same woman that came to America, started preaching about American history. You ain't even, it's giving, you don't even go here. It's giving, she doesn't even go here. It's giving, this is like, what? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Girl, both parents, both of them. Look at them, both parents. Indus of Indus descent. For those of you who don't know, the Indus descent, um, Hinduism was never. It's it's not called Hinduism. It's Hinduism, named after the Indus Mountains, the entire area, India. You get what I'm saying? India, Indus Mountains, Hindu. It's not Hindu. It's I with an I. In named after the Indus Mountains. This woman is of Indus descent. Indus descent, Indian, Indian, Southeast Asian. This woman is not Caucasian. She has never been Caucasian. The furthest she, the furthest she can get to Caucasity is the bullshit she's pulling by trying to use black people to stand on to further her campaign, her political campaign. Bitch, if you don't get your ass the fuck on somewhere with this bullshit, you really tried it. And we better not catch you in the streets because you really played yourself. You played yourself. And the crazy part is, is the same people you tried to appeal to are the first ones that's going to sell your ass out to the black community for pennies on a damn dollar. They're going to sell your ass out and leave you there to rot, okay? Just because you thought that you could play with them and play in their face, you done played the dangerous game. And the same people that could have protected you from that scrutiny, you decided to use us as a stepping stool to get to where you want to be. You got damn right we wanted up with you. Because you thought that you was playing somebody. You ain't do nothing but play in your ancestor's face. Look at you looking stupid now. Get her, y'all. Get her. So this is all I got from this video. And <clears throat> I want to ask, why is she lying about her, where she's from? Why is she trying to tell people that she is white when she is Indian? Man, I think people really, go, I don't know, but like, you know, what is all this attitude? Like she want to prove to black people that she is uh, not Indian, but palm colored. But woman, we already know. I mean, don't mess around with African-Americans. Don't mess around with black people because they are going to dig. I mean, 
dig up the highest of the highest and then show it to you. I mean, from the picture you saw, you can see that she is, I mean, you can see her face. I mean, she has Indian parents. So how did she become uh, palm colored all of a sudden? Because man, it looks like I can be, I can claim anything like, you know, just to oppress people or just to make, just to make people like, you know, uh, I don't know why she is doing that. Is she doing that because she wants to like feel superior to black people? Or if she, I mean, like, you know, if she comes out as an India, we already know that she is, uh, that she is, she has like, you know, that she's also a minority that she, I mean, I don't know, but my, it's kind of hard to, I am trying to process it. Why she would say that, I mean, or why she would say in her uh, application that she is white. Because how is she white? Why? Why is she doing that? And she want to oppress. Is that why she lied about the slavery that they asked her? Is that why she refused to speak on it? Is that why she decided to also come back to look for a way to twist the the uh, truth? I mean, is that because she want to be white so bad? Make this make sense because I really don't get it how all these are coming out all of a sudden. I mean, this is really infuriating. Can, I don't know, but like, you know, People can really go any length to prove to black people that they are not on the same level, like, you know, because that is what she's trying to say, do. She's trying to tell you all that we are not on the same level. I am, because she's already, she has already bought into the white supremacy because everything she does and every, like, you know, you all can understand that she is not, she don't see her, she doesn't see herself as a minority. She sees herself as a palm colored person. Yeah, that is it. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.